for instance, we, yeah, we, because one con contract means between two person. Okay, it can be verbal, it can be written. So we have to identify contract. So what do I buy? And what the other person sell? So identify is that contract exists or not? So if they exist, the next one is uh, identify as well. The performance it can be more than one. Okay, example I sign up contract with Maxis. So we have a contract, and then this performance obligation is there. Are one is the handphone and the data. So more than one, we have identified two. This example here, we got four. Sell and then the upgrading as well as the maintenance, technical support, all these are four different contract performance obligation. So when you have two, okay. Then we have to number three, COP, P. P will be the price. Yeah, transaction price based on this example here. If it's fixed one, okay. But this example here is if the first 500, will be uh, how much in yeah, not this example here the first 500 500 dollars if more than 500 it will be 450 and uh, this 450 is applied retrospectively means back means all this will change means the the selling price here there are that varies okay very very so we have to make a judgment, okay? Whether is this 500 going to be met or not? If met means everything will become 450. So the year end, the first three months, no, we have uh, predicted or estimated that it will be met. So still at five. However, another three months later, haven't sold more than 500, but we estimate it's going to be more. Therefore, from now we're going to. 450 whatever they have overcharged or minus up that's why they said the price may vary so two uh two performance obligation we have to determine the price now the price here once we determine is it 450 or 500 once we determine we're going to allocate so there will be a allocate based on what price their standalone price their original standalone price the proportion after we allocate already, some we recognize immediately, like the handphone delivered, recognize immediately. The data is over two years, we recognize over two years. Okay, at the time, in, at the point in time, or over time. Okay. So, um, remember we have a agent, principal and agent, commission. We only recognize the commission. So amount received. When we pay one, receive one thousand, pay nine hundred. We still gonna recognize only hundred commission. But if they have one thousand, recognize separately. What we gonna do? We minus nine hundred, minus hundred. We only recognize one. Take out sales, take out cost. Principal agent. Okay. And uh, obligation satisfied over time the construction. We got how many method? Two. One is. Output and input. Output is sales, input is purchase. Cost method. Um, what do I do first? When we are construction, we first have to determine the outcome. Determine the outcome. So we, did, we use number eight here. The cost of the revenue, the outcome is 290 contract price. And then we want to know the cost. Expected completion date, okay. Cost to date is cost to date is 210450. What else? Estimation cost to completion, cost to completion 26. So you add up is two, three, one, zero, five, zero. So this is the outcome. And then what do I do with this outcome? We copy the profit to be recognized using one of the two methods. Correct. Huh? Means this is a cost method, cost incurred to date divided by this, or based on certified method. After that, SPL and SFP. 
one of them is balancing figure. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> now, this is the outcome. Uh, work certified means safe method. They have certified how much, how many percent complete invoice for work certified is amount invoice. No, this is amount invoice. Where? This one. Uh? Amount invoice for work certified two one zero out of two 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 ninety. So this is based on the sales. Uh. Work certified is two three zero. Value. Value of obligation certified. Ah, value of this one. This one is the amount invoice. Invoice. So certified is two three out of two nine. So quite uh, substantially completed. Therefore, we can recognize the profit, the same percentage. Sales cost profit. We have a sales here. This is a profit five and no, four six seven five three. Sales is two. Three zero 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 certified. So the cost is a balance. First year okay. Second year you have to minus from the uh, total from last year. After SFP, SPL, then we got SFP. Cost good to date. Correct. Then. What's the cost incurred to date? 210. Plus profit recognized to date. There. 46753. This is the cost, this is the profit, this, this is the fix. 257203. But I didn't invoice all. How much I invoice? The progress billing, yeah, two one zero. So contract asset. I think it's yellow there. And how much actually we see? One nine four. As for the question. So I got two asset. One is contract asset. One is trip receivable. Refresh it here. Now we let's look at this example here. Exco, yeah. Exco uh, was aware of the introduction of a new financial standard, okay, FRS 15. The new standard was issued here and start to apply the okay, this uh, background. So let's jump to here. Is all this in, in your notes, uh, all this? Is that right? I didn't, okay. On the 1st June, oh, should be looking at the required first. Identify and explain five steps. So two things. Identify as well as explain. Identify means the five COPR, half mark. And then uh, you have to explain. Contract, verbal, uh, it can be written. And then uh, all identify the obligation, blah, blah, blah. Okay, it's everything in the notes or all here. Half is the identify, half, I will say half. One and half is the explanation. Focus to get one mark enough. Lah. Okay, nah. No, no, no. It's half a mark here. And of course, the explanation is 1.5. You start to worry how to write, what to write, don't know what to write, alright? So don't worry, just focus to get one mark only. Here, one half a mark. Here you get one mark, so you get one and a half out of two. Enough to pass it. Okay. So if you don't be too particular, yeah, I need to know. Then you start to spend a lot of time here. Okay, and then you start to affect, you're going to be affected. Hey, how come I can't get two marks? I don't know what to write. Never, it's okay. Just move on. Yeah. 
This one, no need. This one is a copy and paste. It's a modern answer, must be comprehensive. Okay? You just try, especially if you are this. Of course, this one, I don't think it will be coming out for your past C. La. Past C will be ratio and all this. Alright, this one is about old question. So, higher level, if you are at this 47, 48, when you write something, your chances is you will get 50. Understand? You must write. Huh? Because you see here, you write, probably I give you half a mark only. Half a mark here, one mark here. I give you wrong here. So, add up all the mark because all paper based professional paper, you have 47. Okay, chances are not that you the marker must go back and review to make sure to get the three marks if possible. Okay, if possible, so meaning the 49 is impossible. <laughs> the reason they have to, they have to, yes. So 47 or 48. So we go through this one. I can because you write something, I can give you half a mark. Imagine you only have one line. I've given you half a mark. Can I give you another half a mark? Just one more. Cannot. You are not helping yourself. I want to help you, but you're only one line. Okay. <laughs> High level, then you can apply the same thing. Always remember, write only. Never, never, uh, what's correct? <laughs> never, never be like, uh, what's correct? Um, What's the term that we use? Uh? <laughs> Ali Nuchum, is it? You go and foresee. Nuchum, is it? You know, is it? Ali? Huh? You don't go and become. Uh, Ali Nuchum, is it? Uh, Tilly, Tilly, Nase, one. You don't go and do all these things. Why? Right? You think you your point is there. You don't go and think, hey, is this correct or wrong? Uh, I think it's wrong. I don't put it. You don't do that. Even if you have the point. Don't care whether it's correct or wrong, let the marker decide. Just write. Just write. Okay, not? Just write. Ah, yeah, just write. <laughs> but uh, P level, uh, P level is still right. Uh. P level is still right. Uh. That's why, because this one is the old one. Now, with best section C, you will console, facial, and also your identity. So you know this, that one is important, you spend most of your time in this, this area, 40%. We want to get 28%. Okay. Focus on? 28, yeah. 40%. Uh, two questions, 20, 20. The first one, you've got console, got ratio, we try to get 20, we try to get about uh, 12, 13. 13. The other one, single entity, we try to get about 15 or 14. <laughs> so we have 27 out of 40. We need another 23 to pass. Huh? So you have to, this 40 here, is you must focus. Here we got about how many questions? Uh, 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. So you need to have, by right, you must get half 15. Make some mistake, you got about 12 correct times 2, you still got about 24. Yes, <laughs> so you know, focus because uh, F and, uh, MCQ difficult to focus. You focus on government grant, it never come out. Huh? You focus on PPE, maybe one or two, just be really done. Should I spend more time there? And it's only two MC, two, two PPE. You can't do much. So where, where you want to spend your most of the time at? Yeah. Because this is the one that's going to push up or down here. The MCQ part, you can't do much. You put in effort, that much means that much. Okay, you came out only two questions on, on uh, PPE. You can't do much, even though you are very good at PPE. You are very good at government grant, only one question. So you can spend half an hour, one hour, two hour, one day, two day, and Government grant, you still gonna have it, not gonna have it. So this one, yes. 
understand? So now we got the focus area. Frequency, yes. Correct. Console uh, ratio single entity. Yes. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> and you know other other people they are saying that this paper here is a scoring paper. Yes. You should get at least sixty plus. Sixty, sixty plus. Yeah. Sure, <laughs> sure. If you get fifty and pass, I'm quite worried for you also actually. Because SBR you need to have your very basic to be very strong. If you are sixty means you are most there la. 50 minutes ngam ngam like that script through ah, then you will struggle later okay no so but we still want to pass lah 50 lah okay come let's finish this <laughs> you relax with you right okay this one we're going to skip a because it's just we have to read through the explanation on the copa then uh, explain how, explain and show how. Means you must explain, you must also show the working. The above illustration, illustrated transaction for 30th June 15. 30th June 15. Okay. Since it's there, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to run all that. That's different. 30th June 15 is my year end. 1st of June 15, so one month before the yen. Exco sold machine to a customer and the company also agreed to service the machine for two years. I sell and I agree to service for two years from this date onward, one month before the yen, with no additional charge. The total amount payable by the customer for this arrangement was agreed to be 500,000 if they pay four months later, which is after the yen, they will have to pay me 510 if they pay one month later and another 520 if they pay another month later. So can you see here now, we have a contract or not? Yes, between us, Exco and customer. See, the obligation is the machine and the servicing. Correct. The machine as well as the two-year contract. So we have C contract. We got obligation, which is the two obligation. Machine I'm gonna sell as well as the servicing. What is the uh, P? The price. Then we got three here. Okay, we got three prices here. So uh, number three price. We have to determine the price. Determine the price. So we have three here. And uh, the director of Exco consider that it is highly probable that customer will pay the product on October. The director, okay, consider it is highly probable that it will be on October. Can you see now judgment is involved here? Yeah. So similar to the earlier example, 500 unit. The standalone selling price of the machine was 400, and normally expect to receive 80,000 in consideration for the two two years contract. And uh, the alternative amount receivable are to be treated as variable cons consideration. So we have number three. What is the price? Five, five ten or five twenty? Five ten. Highly probable. So our price has been determined to be five ten on first June. And uh, the price five ten. What is number four? A. We need to allocate this 510 into machine and the contract. And how should I base it on? What is the basis of the allocation? On the stand alone, stand alone selling price. Means individually, what was the selling price? 400 and 1680. Uh, 80,000 in consideration for providing two years means the 80,000 is for two years. So the 510 will be allocated based on 480. 480. Is it okay? So 
Now, we will look at this example here. Machine and the service. 480, so it's 480. The consideration is 510. So find these two. Can you find? 80 divided by 480 times. Do you get 85? And this one is 4 to 5. Can I? Okay, um, this one, this one. We do not know this yet, right? Okay. And um, the this is a stand alone price, it means individually this is 4 and 80. However, our selling price, we have determined because I combine together, I charge more in this case, 510. So we're going to split these two, this will be 400. Out of 480, this one will be 80 out of 480 times, we're going to split 510. How much is this then? 3 to 5. 4 to 5, Four to five and 85. Okay, we have now split. Just like the handphone and the data. When I sell handphone, data, what do I do with the handphone? Do I recognize at the point in time? Yeah, now we have to do part number 4, a location. The handphone we recognize immediately. So do I uh, recognize the machine immediately? Yes. What about this one? 85 is over time. It's for how many? How long? Two years. So what do I do? 85 divided by 24. Divide by 2, lah, correct? Per year. Lah. Then you divide 12 again per year, per month. So let's divide by 24 per month. And I'm going to recognize how many months? One month. Because I'm November and uh, June already. So at 30th June, I recognize only one month. So you take 85 divided by 24. You should get. Huh? Okay. I sell the machine on first. So I recognize the machine now. Because once I give it to you, you have the control. Then uh, I close my account 30th June. So one month. The, no, in fact, we only want to determine what is the amount they're going to pay us. So is it 3.542? Yeah. So this is a 3.52 I'm going to recognize as income and income. For June. For June. Yeah. Present here. Yeah. Because they asked to explain. You show the calculation like what I did just now. There. These are the explanation. Lah. They say the variable element is 500, 510, 520 is about 20 difference. The variable is about 20,000. Okay, 5, 510, 520 is about 20. 500 confirm six already. And uh, we locate based on 480 and then they actually summarize it as 5, one. 5 to 1. So we have done 4 to 8, 4 to 5 and 35. So since we're going to recognize one month, there, 85, we recognize only one month. So 85 divided 24 times 1. Okay, so 3, 5 and 4 to 5. So we're going to defer how much? Eighty-five thousand. We recognize three, five, four, two only. Means we only balance is eight, one, four, five, eight. Correct. We haven't recognized. So this one will be deferred to the next uh, twenty-three months. We're gonna defer this to the next twenty-three months. It's a liability. But again, liability we have to show current and non-current. So the next twelve month will be current. The following one balance is non-current here. On 31st, we're going to defer the whole 81. However, for the 12 months, will be current liability. The balance, 11 months, 
will be non parallelity. Done. The written one will continue the next.